Uh, security, escort this gentleman out, please. Come on, Soda Pop, let's go. goodbye with a high ball then I got as high as a steeple we were intelligent people no tears no fuss who raised for us and thanks for the memory good evening Jim David legislative operations manager for the city council tonight four city councilors Dean Karski Greg Jamison, Kermit Staggers, and Kenny Anderson Jr. will be recognized as their elective terms come to a conclusion. We will begin by calling each the floor to be formally recognized. Will Councilor Karski please come forward? Dean Karski was appointed as a Northwest District City Council member in 2011 and elected in 2012. Most recently, Councilor Karski served as a chair of the Operations Committee and member of the Audit and Fiscal Committees. Councilor Karski is being presented first with a plaque recognizing his public service as a Northwest District City Council member from 2011 to 2016. And now he is being presented with an encased American flag whose inscription reads, in recognition of Dean Karski for his five years of dedicated public service and commitment to the city of Sioux Falls and its citizens. The American flag was flown outside Carnegie Town Hall on Tuesday, February 16th of 2016. Please join me in thanking Councilor Karski for his five years of service. Will Councilor Jameson please come forward? Greg Jameson was elected as a Southwest District City Council member in 2008 and was re-elected in 2012. Most recently, Councilor Jameson served as a chair of the Fiscal Committee, member of the Land Use Committee, Urbanized Development Commission, and South Dakota Municipal League Board of Directors. He is being presented first with a plaque recognizing public service as a Southwest District City Council member from 2008 to 2016. And now he is being presented with an encased American flag whose inscription reads, 
In recognition of Greg Jamison for his eight years of dedicated public service and commitment to the city of Sioux Falls and its citizens, the American flag was flown outside Carnegie Town Hall on Tuesday, March 15, 2016. Please join me in thanking Councilor Jamison for his eight years of public service. Well, Councillor Stagers, please come forward. Kermit L. Stagers was elected as a Central District Council member in 2002 and re-elected in 2006. In 2012, Councillor Stagers was elected as an at-large City Council member. Councillor Stagers most recently served as a member of the Land Use and Public Services Committee and Urbanized Development Commission. Councilor Staggers is being presented first with a plaque recognizing his public service as an at-large city council member from 2012 to 2016. And now he's being presented with an encased American flag whose inscription reads, in recognition of Kermit L. Staggers, for his 12 years of dedicated public service and commitment to the city of Sioux Falls and its citizens. The American flag was flown outside Carnegie Town Hall on March, or Tuesday, March 8, 2016. Please join me in thanking Councilor Staggers for his 12 years of public service. Will Councillor Anderson Jr. please come forward? That never did come true. Kenny Anderson Jr. was elected as a Northeast District City Council member in 2008 and re elected in 2012. Most recently, Councillor Anderson Jr. served on the Land Use, Operations, and Public Services Committees, Southeastern Council of Governments, Executive Board, and as a chair of the City Council. He is being presented. First, with a plaque recognizing his public service as a Northeast District City Council member from 2008 to 2016. And now, he is being presented with an encased American flag whose inscription reads, in recognition of Kenny Anderson Jr. for his eight years of dedicated public service and commitment to the City of Sioux Falls and its citizens. The American flag was flown outside Carnegie Town Hall on Tuesday, March 1st, 2016. Please join me in thanking Councillor Anderson Jr. for his eight years of public service. Thank you so much. Uh, it is my honor and it's my privilege uh, to also allow these councilors uh, an opportunity to at least engage the 173,300 citizens of Sioux Falls uh, that they've served uh, in an admirable way uh, over, over the, uh, the series of years here. Uh, first, I would like to introduce you, uh, citizens, to the Northwest District City Council member. His name is Dean Karski. Uh, Councilor Karski. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just quick. I want to thank a lot of people and um, the city employees and the administration, all the directors. When you get into this gig, you found out what truly quality people we have working for our city here. It, it amazes me and they come to work every day and uh, they, it's pretty much a thankless job for the most part. So I want to make sure I thank them. We have an outstanding council staff, um, Jim David, Lori Hogstad, Tamara, Denise, Tom, uh, just the, and Dave Bixler, just everybody that we have working on our council staff for our, to, the work that they do and all the help they give us counselors to keep us looking good. Um, the fellow council members, thank you. Um, we don't do this alone. We don't do it inside of a bubble and there's a lot of talking and uh, seven new friends. So I want to thank all my, my friends. Um, the, obviously the people that elected me to get to this seat, uh, thank all the citizens there and, and um, you, you, my family. 
Uh, I only brought my wife up. I should have brought everybody up, but I've got my, my mother-in-law, my son, two sons, my daughter, my granddaughter. Um, just want to thank them. It's, uh, again, something that you do not do by yourself, so to recognize my family. And um, no specific accomplishments or anything I'm going to take credit for because I didn't do anything. As an individual, I do not do anything by myself. We do things as a council, and uh, we speak as one voice, whether I voted for it or against it. When it's all done, um, we act as a council, so just to um, recognize that. Um, I am proud to say that I feel that Sioux Falls is in a better place than it was five years ago when I began, and I'm confident that it's going to be in a much better place again in five more years. I um, just want to ask everybody that's here and maybe watching on TV that they stay involved and, and stay positive. Sioux Falls is a great community and takes great people working together to make that happen. So I just want to thank everybody for the opportunity. Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls, that was Councillor Dean Karski. <laughs> Sioux Falls, it is now my pleasure to introduce you to the Southwest District City Council member. His name is Greg Jameson. Councilor Jameson. Uh, thank you. Uh, I always refer to the Southwest District as the number one district of all the districts in the city. Uh, well, first off, I got to uh, I got to thank my uh, wife Beth, who's in the audience, and my kids Dan and Jessica, who are here. Um, they've teased me a lot over the years for being on my phone too much and. A lot of time it's been talking to people out in the audience and other counselors and uh, uh, constituents, of course, and, and it's interfered with a lot of our personal time, but uh, that time is over. And um, so a little less phone for me is good and uh, a little more family time. I want to thank my parents, Bob and Shirley. My dad's uh, pictures on some of these walls, uh, he's the one who gave me the inspiration. It's my mom, though, who told me to do it. And uh, so for some of you, you have her to blame. Um, but uh, I just reflecting a little bit on this whole journey, I would call it, uh, I've really enjoyed all the people that I've got to meet and know, uh, people I would have never met, uh, information I would have never learned. Uh, the directors of the city have been great. Uh, counselors who've come and gone have been great. Um, constituents that I've met and become friends with, it's been great. Uh, it's the people of uh, this community that make it great. It's not buildings, it's not streets. It's the people who live here. <clears throat> Thinking back on, on some of the history here with these counselors and others, uh, I remember when we had a, an economic forum here on a Saturday morning during the recession. And we filled the room with business leaders and community uh, members, and we talked about how to get through the recession and what we needed to do as a community. I remember when we decided to uh, bring Lincoln and Minnehaha County together in the same room at this council for the first time ever to sit down. It's a big deal. When we as a council decided to start meeting with the Brandon City Council because we were merging and getting so close together, it was important to develop a relationship. I remember that. Uh, the Transit Task Force was a big deal that uh, is trying to address a major issue in our community and there's still work there that's getting done. But Councilor Karski said it best, uh, we did that together as a council and uh, you know, not all of it's been pleasurable, I can tell you, but uh, it's been good work. And if anybody uh, you know, could think of or try to remember me in the future, I would hope that they would consider the idea that I, I tried to bring people together to solve problems in the community and work together better to make Sioux Falls a better place. And so if you get a chance to remember me about anything, use that one. Uh, and again, thank you very much. 
Citizens of Sioux Falls, that was Councilor Greg Jamison. It is now my honor and my pleasure uh, to introduce you to the at-large district. Uh, that is uh, the counselor who represents the entire city, no matter where they live, work, and play. Uh, his name is Councilor Kermit Staggers. Councilor Staggers. Well, thank you very much uh, for that introduction. And also thank you for all of you being here this evening. A very, very nice turnout. On these kind of events, sometimes it's hard to know how many people are going to uh, show up. But it's obvious we have a lot of family members here, which is really nice to, to be able to see my colleagues' uh, family members. And also my wife, uh, June, uh, is here. Uh, she's been very important in my political career, uh, especially when it comes to campaign time. She's out there campaigning and, and doing all kinds of things. And then also my daughter, Ann Kristen. Um, she's also very much involved in politics. But and being involved in politics like this, and also being on the city council, we get to, to um, know many people in the city itself. And uh, sometimes uh, uh, a lot of people uh, let us know who they are too. It's not uncommon in downtown Sioux Falls, Hy-Vee or wherever, for people to say something to me, uh, how they appreciate me being on the council. Well, I, I appreciate their kind words, but you know, to tell you the truth, I don't know who they are, but it's still very, very nice because that's an indication of what kind of people we have here in Sioux Falls, very kind people. And also, that's also a reflection of what the city itself as a whole is like. I've lived in many cities uh, throughout my lifetime, and really, there's no city better than Sioux Falls. And uh, the primary reason for that, of course, is, is the citizens here, all of you in this room, plus the rest of the citizens outside this uh, town hall. Um, <clears throat> let me mention that uh, uh, it's, it's wonderful that we live in such a nice city because when I taught uh, state and local government at the University of Sioux Falls, one of the things I would often say at the beginning of the class would be that, uh, you know, what's the most um, impactful government uh, on your life every day? And of course, many people would say, well, obviously, it's the national government. Well, because on the national news, that's all we hear about, isn't it? But once in a while, somebody would say, hmm, the state government in peer, especially when it's in session. But I told them those two answers are not correct at all. The most impactful government on all of you tonight and also throughout the city of Sioux Falls is city government. Now that's not very commonly mentioned. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever heard that before, but think about it just for a moment. When you get up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Well, you go to the bathroom and you brush your teeth and, and get prepared for uh, uh, going to work. What are you using? You're using water that was provided by the city of Sioux Falls. It wasn't provided by the national government, provided by the city of Sioux Falls. Then you, uh, some of you in Sioux Falls, you uh, get your breakfast, you have your toaster and you put your bread in the toaster uh, to prepare it. Well, in Sioux Falls, there are some residents of Sioux Falls uh, that, uh, uh, get their electricity from the city government. And then you go out to the car, start the car, drive out of the driveway onto the street. Well, I think we all know the streets are owned by who? Well, the city of Sioux Falls. So, and you drive to work. And there are probably other examples of how the city impacts you just as you're going to work. But there is a lot of truth to the statement that city government impacts citizens more than probably most of the governments. <clears throat> well, now to help carry on the 
a tradition of city government here in Sioux Falls. Next week, we're going to have four new people uh, taking the oath of office uh, as uh, a city council member. And uh, I know most of the four members. And uh, I guess the one thing I can say right now is, is that I'm probably going to be watching Channel 16 a lot. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting city council. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. Having said that it's going to be interesting, at the same time, I think it's very fair to say it's going to be a very good city council. So we, we have some good people following in our footsteps. And having said that, um, <clears throat> once again, uh, I would hope that uh, uh, the new members of the city council would be treated as well as all of us on the city council right now. And having said that, thank you very much once again for coming. Sioux Falls, that was Kermit L. Staggers, uh, your city councilor at large. Citizens of Sioux Falls, uh, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce you to the Sioux Falls City Council Chairman. His name is Kenny Anderson, Jr. Councilor Anderson, Jr. Thank you, Chair. Um, in 1928, my grandparents moved to Sioux Falls looking for opportunity and a safe place to raise their children. Um, they raised eight children here. One of them, my father, uh, was appointed in 2007 to the city commission. There he established some great friendships. One of them, a gentleman named Bob Jamison, and uh, made a great impression on me. Uh, about 2000, uh, after my father had passed, uh, people were asking me questions as I was uh, escorting my aunt down the grocery aisles at hy V, and she looked at me and she goes, when are you going to do it? And uh, that sort of set the fire going. And I wanted to thank her, uh, Francis Lofton, also Bill Gannon, and Ike Hoover, three people who really believed in me. Um, the people of the Northeast District, thank you. You've given me an honor. It's been... Uh, just a rewarding experience, um, being able to be a part of this group, looking at uh, the development of our city and making sure that the foundation that was laid by my father, by Mr. Jamison, and those that have come before us continues in this city. And I think we can all be proud of this city because the people of Sioux Falls is what makes up this city and what makes us winners. And I'm very proud of my uh, work with my colleagues here tonight and those that were on the council before us, and especially with Greg Jamison. Uh, continuing that friendship uh, has been really important to me also. So as we look at the future, I hope that each and every one of you will stay involved and uh, look at the changes that are happening in our city. Uh, look at that diversity changes that are coming, accept that, and make sure that we make sure that everyone coming to the city experience the same experience that my family has growing up here and living here. And that is a safe community of people who welcome people, who say hi when you walk down the street. And to the city employees and administration and Mayor Huther and Mayor Munson, thank you for everything that you've done. Putting yourself out there is not easy and it's a, it's a hardship on your families and we understand that. And then to my mother and my sisters who couldn't be here, they live in Minneapolis, um, thank you for allowing me to do this. Thank you. Citizens of Sioux Falls, that was Council Chairperson Kenny Anderson, Jr. Okay. 
Council Chair, with your permission, uh, should we continue with the meeting? Continue, Mayor. All right, thank you. Y'all come back now. Here. What kind of morons run this outfit? <laughs>